Arm Yardies to be the running pirate. And I'm here today talking with my friend Brandon, which is an awesome name, by the way. Brandon Passion. He leads music at a neighborhood church, and he also happens to record and produce his own music. So let's talk a little bit about that with him right now. So, Brandon, what? How did you get involved in music? Um, I was involved in music from a very early age. My whole family was musicians, and um, yeah, I I learned how to sing harmonies really young, uh, learning how to sing them in church, and then listen to country radio. Mm -hmm. Then I got into kind of weird influences, um, not weird individually, but together, like Garth Brooks meets Ray Charles was sort of like how I got into the music that I do now. Hmm. Call Baton Rouge with Georgia on your mind kind of thing. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> That's awesome. Well, what, what, um, so, so you obviously had some early influence, everything. What made you want to pursue it as like, as a profession? Like how, what, did you just love it that much or what, like what, what's your story with that? Well, you know, um, I've, uh, as a musician, I had started writing songs about as early as I could play music or sing music. And so there was always something in me to write a song. And then as soon as you write a song, the next thing you want to do is show your song to somebody. Yeah. And it was interesting as I started, one thing I realized is that as much as I love a song, the person I'm playing it for might not love the song as much as I love it. And I've heard songwriters since talk about that sort of problem with songwriting as um, we think about songs, songwriters as like our children. And when someone says they don't like your song, it's like them saying your kids are ugly. Uh, <laughs> and so, not nice. I didn't write songs for a long time because I didn't want people to not like my songs. Uh, and then I finally just said, you know what? It's in me. I can't help it. And I started writing songs and... Recently, I started pursuing the dream of actually sharing those songs with everybody, putting them on an album, which is a very vulnerable move because people can listen to it and they can tell you it sucks all the time. Um, and so you sort of have to get a thick skin and say, this is me, this is my art, this is my story. And so mm -hmm. that's kind of how I went into it. It's always been part of me and I finally found the courage to do it. That is awesome. Where, yeah, honestly, I, I really... I really can't admire that for several reasons. I mean, being in a in teaching profession, you definitely have to get that thick skin and everything. And so, and I mean, I, I'm just, I'm trying to build up my running muscles and, you know, you, you know, you got, you're running to people that think you can't do it and that kind of thing. And so I, I, I think I see a little bit of where you're coming from on that. Where, where do you want to go with this? Where would, where would you like to take your music from here? What, 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 what's your dream? Where do you see it? Yeah. I mean, I have goals. I would love for the world to hear my music. Um, and I think as I'm pushing forward, I'm just pushing forward in that direction. How can I use the message um, and the unique talent that God has given me to move that is to as many locations as I can? And so far, everywhere I'm giving my music, it's been very, very well received. So it's kind of all about expanding that base and going to this place and showing them the music. And be like, oh, I really like that. Going to this place. And so it's interesting. It's marketing in its truest sense of the word. You're just taking this product and you're saying, does this mean anything to you? And if it does, then you say, great, keep it, spread it, and I'm going to move to this area. It's like, almost like an evangelism of sorts. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know what? Where, where can people go to check out your music? Where can they get a taste of it? Um, probably the best place to go, honestly, is brandonpassion.com. That has links to all of my social media stuff, all of my music, all of my YouTube videos and that kind of thing. So, all right. that's really easy. Well, you heard it here, folks. Go check out BrandonPassion.com. Uh, hes I can tell you from listening to him on stage many times, many Sundays, he's definitely got a talent. I know he's got a heart for the Lord and definitely a heart for touching people with his music. So I would encourage you to check this out. And in fact, in a snippet, we're going to go uh, hear Brandon play one of his songs. You, you going to do that for us? Yeah. Well, actually, we're talking about our dreams. And one of my dreams has recently come true in that an artist from Nashville has decided that they wanted to pick up one of the songs that I've written. And so that's what I'm going to play for you now. It's called Listen When They Cry. Listen, oh, wow. I'm looking forward to hearing that. Hey, guys, give this song a listen to. And until next time, this is The Running Pirate. I'll catch you on the next wave. Couldn't see me taking her. What was taken wasn't right But 
hindsight comes to visit 